Hey everyone, welcome again on the image tag. So in the last video, we work on the selecting an image from the gallery source or the camera source. Now it's time to send these images to other user. But you know about that, if we will send image, we wanted to show some layout on our chat app. Or if we will get an image from the other user, we have to show a layout of that as well. So suppose I have one image to give you a reference like here you can see that if a person will send an image this is the layout of sending an image if a person will get an image so this is the layout of getting an image so we have to work on this layout first after that we will start sending the images from one user to another user okay so before I will start coding I just wanted to say one thing like if you guys share this series to other people, so it will motivate me. So help me to share this series to other people. And also if you start sharing it on your LinkedIn or any platform, so please tag me as well. It will help me to motivate. Okay. And at the last, I just wanted to say thank you to those people who bought the original source code of this WhatsApp clone Flutter. So if you wanted to buy the whole source code, just mail me on devishtag in gmail.com. Okay, so let's start decoding and let's make the layout first. Then we will connect this thing to the backend. So let's start decoding. What we have to do that we have to create a new file on a custom UI. That file will be our own file card. This file will contain a layout logic of the sending an image of our own like we can see the own image over here okay so let's work on it first then we will going to create another file that will be a reply file card so let's first import the material dot dart package and let's create a stateless widget and the name will be again own file card let's do it fast we don't need a question mark and here we will going to use the container because we will need a static height and width okay to show an image not like uh, showing an image that will have a dynamic height or width so let's provide the height I'm going to use the media query dot op context and the height okay and that will be 2.5 and similarly we will need a width so let's change it to the width and uh, it will have a two point okay oh sorry here we just did a mistake and here we will have a two or we will do whatever we want but let first add a card over here okay and we have to visualize it right like while coding we wanted to visualize it over here so what i'm going to do that i will go on an individual chat page and here we have the list view dot builder with help of that only we are showing the messages so what i'm going to do just as of now to visualize the code i'm just going to comment it out and uh, i'm going to add another child that will be a list view only and in the list view children I'm going to use the own file card to see it like how it will look like okay so this is our own file card it is taking the whole height our whole width of our screen so what I had to do I just had to wrap this thing to another widget called align I'm going to wrap it and as it is a uh, own file card we had to align it to the center uh, center light okay so let me use the alignment and I'm going to use the center right and let me hit the save so it is aligned to the center right also we will need some padding so what I can do that I can add padding here but I need a padding widget for it like okay so let me use the only or let's use the symmetric for the base and let's add the horizontal 
20 or you can use the padding inside the container widget but I just wrapped it okay so vertical maybe 5 and let's hit the save okay or we can have as it as a 15 okay that's great now also we have to just customize this container what I'm going to do that I'm going to add the box decoration decoration box decoration and here we have to use the border radius border radius border radius dot circular okay we have circular and provide the border radius some okay so we have some border radius but we are not able to see it let's apply a color as well so we can see it color dot we will need a teal okay that's great but for the color we can use a uh, green not the teal okay now let's go inside the car and let's use the shape I'm going to use the rounded border rectangular border and same thing I'm going to provide the border radius okay now the second thing I wanted to do is apply the margin so instead of having this much margin I'm going to use the edge in set dot all and let me use two or three maybe that's right and that will be not a green we can have a variant of green hundred or maybe 300 hmm. okay so this will be our widget of the visualizing the our own images or we can increase the height to 2 what will happen let's see not that much let's add it as 2.3 and uh, let's add it to 1.5 okay 1.8 may be good yeah so this will be uh, our own file card what about the other file card and remember inside the card we have a child property and inside the child property we are going to use the image dot asset so in the future I mean in the next video or in this video only we will incorporate that as well but before that I'm going to make a new file that will be a reply file card dot dot okay and in this file first let me change the name reply file card and let's change to center left okay and let's use it inside the individual chat page just to visualize it reply file card not reply card reply file card okay we are not getting the reply okay so this is the reply file card okay I have to just change the name that I just did a mistake OW is came here okay that's great and I will going to work on the reply file card as well let's go over there and uh, here instead of having a green color let's have a gray color apart from that everything is right okay gray don't have a set of 300 let's see that what are the set available for the gray let's use the gray 400 
great now we have the own file card and the reply file card now we just have to show the images right so for the own file card we will need a file image because we are getting an image from the camera or the gallery so we can show it using the file images okay so here inside the own file card inside the card the child we will going to add and that will be a file images or image dot file okay and here we will provide the file path okay so first thing we have to get a file path as the variable so let me use the final and string and the next thing is the path and we have to get it using the this dot path okay and here also we have to use the file not this file we have another file okay and assign the path okay. if i will hit the save it will broke down because in a individual chat page we are not providing the path as of now so now the real tragedy will begin okay i mean we have to change the code of our old code like we have to change a lot of thing right now to send the image so let me first thing do like i'm just going to remove this list view and let's be go back to the old code okay till here so we are using the list view dot builder and uh, we are able to show the image with help of this messages list which we have so let's go on a send button so in a send button while clicking on a send button where we are going so let's go over there and here you can see that we are calling a send message method and we are providing the text source chat id and chat model id but if i will go on a send message we are calling another message uh, another method that will going to set the local state of the messages okay and we are using the message model okay so in a message model if i will go we had the three type the i mean we have the three variable that is a type that can be own or reply and second we have the message that takes which we wanted to show and third one is the timestamp now we need a, another thing that will be a path okay so now the tragedy will begin like we have to modify all the places where we are using the message model okay also if i will go on an individual chat page in the same messages we are emitting the message from this socket user to the another socket user and we are providing the message source id and target id now we have to add one additional parameter that will be a path of the image as well okay and also we have to set the path of the images on this message model so for that the first thing will be please watch the video very carefully we are just going to change the code and if you don't watch carefully maybe your code can be broke the first thing will be the adding uh, another variable that will be a path and uh, let's use the this dot path and one trick i wanted to do that i'm going to use the required keyword okay so okay we are using the old flutter version so we have to use the required like that and let me the save okay and let's go on individual chat page now everywhere we will going to use the message model we will get uh, this type of warning that we have one additional parameter that is a path okay so the first thing is in a set message we need a third parameter that is a path so now we are beginning to the adding the image on our legacy code so here we will also need a path okay in send messages we will need the path and that path we will going to provide over here okay and here we have to set 
uh, extra parameter that is a path on our Mrs. model. Watch the video very carefully. And uh, in the set messages, again we have to provide the path and that we will get from the socket itself like in a socket we are getting this message right in the message we will get the format like this so at the time of emitting only i'm going to add a another variable that will be a path and uh, i'm going to path of the image like this okay and same thing at the time of setting an image for getting an image from I mean from getting a message from the other user at the time of setting a local state I'm going to add an additional parameter that will be a oh sorry that will be a message and it will be a path don't worry I'm going to just give you a idea and at the time of sending a message we don't have a image thing over here I will just provide a empty string okay so let's give you the overview that what I change on the same messages I added an additional parameter that will be a path so if I will click this message the path will be empty string so we don't note uh, we don't need to worry about it but at the time of sending the yes button so if I will click this button at that time maybe we will add the caption and we will have the image path so the caption will go on this message and the image path will go on this thing and the source ID and target ID we will get it from this individual chat page okay so at the time of this yes button we have to provide those path and the messages that's why I did a changes and I added a additional parameter dot called path and we are sending it on the socket as well and at the time of setting the message on a locally I added an additional parameter path again because we wanted to save the I mean we had to show the images as well on the local individual chat page with help of the local state only we are showing the messages that's why I'm uh, so, uh, saving the path of the images as well okay so that's why there is third parameter again and we are saving it locally over here okay same thing we did at the time of receiving the messages again if we are sending the socket like this like we have the four parameter then at the time of receiving the socket messages we will have additional parameter called path as well that's why while the calling the same message called set messages we are setting the path locally again so now we are in a final stage of this image sharing functionality let's continue this thing on a next video because this video is very long till that happy coding don't forget to share and like the video and don't forget to subscribe the channel See you.